February 15. Offerings of Dedication On the day Moses set up the tabernacle, he anointed it and set it apart as holy. He also anointed and set apart all its furnishings and the altar with its utensils. Then the leaders of Israel, the tribal leaders who had registered the troops, came and brought their offerings. Together they brought six large wagons and twelve oxen. There was a wagon for every two leaders and an ox for each leader. They presented these to the Lord in front of the tabernacle. Then the Lord said to Moses, Receive their gifts and use these oxen and wagons for transporting the tabernacle. Distribute them among the Levites according to the work they have to do. So Moses took the wagons and oxen and presented them to the Levites. He gave two wagons and four oxen to the Gershonite division for their work, and he gave four wagons and eight oxen to the Merarite division for their work. All their work was done under the leadership of Ithamar, son of Aaron the priest. But he gave none of the wagons or oxen to the Kohathite division, since they were required to carry the sacred objects of the tabernacle on their shoulders. The leaders also presented dedication gifts for the altar at the time it was anointed. They each placed their gifts before the altar. The Lord said to Moses, Let one leader bring his gift each day for the dedication of the altar. On the first day, Nashon, son of Amminadab, leader of the tribe of Judah, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and one quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Nashon, son of Amminadab. On the second day, Nathanael, son of Zuar, leader of the tribe of Issachar, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and one quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Nathanael, son of Zor. On the third day, Eliab, son of Helan, leader of the tribe of Zebulun, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and one-quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three-quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Eliab, son of Helan. On the fourth day, Eliezer, son of Shader, leader of the tribe of Reuben, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and one quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Eliezer, son of Shader. On the fifth day, Shelemiel, son of Zerushaddai, leader of the tribe of Simeon, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and one quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Shelemiel, son of Zerushaddai. 
On the sixth day, Eliasaph, son of Duel, leader of the tribe of Gad, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and one quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Eliasaph, son of Duel. On the seventh day, Elishama, son of Amihud, leader of the tribe of Ephraim, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and one quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Elishama, son of Amihud. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, son of Pedazer, leader of the tribe of Manasseh, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and one quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Gamaliel, son of Pedazer. On the ninth day, Abidon, son of Gideoni, leader of the tribe of Benjamin, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and one-quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three-quarter pounds, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Abidon, son of Gideoni. On the tenth day, Ahizer, son of Emeshaddai, leader of the tribe of Dan, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and one-quarter pounds, and a silver basin weighing one and three-quarter pounds, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Ahizer, son of Emeshaddai. On the eleventh day, Pajil, son of Akron, leader of the tribe of Asher, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and one quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Pajil, son of Akran. On the twelfth day, Ahira, son of Enan, leader of the tribe of Naphtali, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and one-quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three-quarter pounds, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Ahira, son of Enan. 
So this was the dedication offering brought by the leaders of Israel at the time the altar was anointed. Twelve silver platters, twelve silver basins, and twelve gold incense containers. Each silver platter weighed three and one quarter pounds, and each silver basin weighed one and three quarter pounds. The total weight of the silver was sixty pounds, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. Each of the twelve gold containers that was filled with incense weighed four ounces, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. The total weight of the gold was three pounds. Twelve young bulls, twelve rams, and twelve one-year-old male lambs were donated for the burnt offerings, along with their prescribed grain offerings. Twelve male goats were brought for the sin offerings. Twenty-four bulls, sixty rams, sixty male goats, and sixty one-year-old male lambs were donated for the peace offerings. This was the dedication offering for the altar after it was anointed. Whenever Moses went into the tabernacle to speak with the Lord, he heard the voice speaking to him from between the two cherubim, above the ark's cover, the place of atonement, that rests on the ark of the covenant. The Lord spoke to him from there.